Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin. The Mandalorian Chapter 23 is, uh, is out now for Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Um, if you guys don't know, if you guys are now just joining the channel, uh, this will contain spoilers of the episode, so if you haven't seen the episode, go sh check out the episode and come back and watch this. Um, that's your kind of warning, and let's get into it. Finally, an episode where we're back on track. And finally, a great fucking episode. This episode was so fucking good. But it's fucking too late. <laughs> it's 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 too late for this. Like I don't. This should have been like episode four or five. Like this, if anything, this should have been episode four because it's that that's like the halfway point of the season. And like okay, everything's guy kind of going downhill. Our heroes are in distress now, and um, now we have to work our way back up. It's like that's the, like that's what this episode is. And now next week is the finale of the season, and um, you you have so much to freaking rush through because you did nothing but sort of set up set up with filler filler, and we have no like tying ends like there's just there is nothing to this, and so I enjoy it, but it's hard to not think about the all the other episodes and try not to endure my rating with those episodes because it's like where was this like this this is we know how good the mandalorian can be not only because of this episode and the previous episodes that we have seen that were really great and i just don't i don't get it and i'm hoping that john favreau takes the criticism from this um from the season and and um puts it into season four because he's still writing season four they're ready to, like as soon as he's done with it they're gonna go shoot for it but it's we after this after the after next week's at well after next week's episode after the finale we're not gonna have another mandalorian for probably another two years and so we're gonna have to wait again for another two years just to find out what happens next because now we're starting to get momentum that we're gonna lose immediately. And so it's kind of, it's just it's sort of frustrating in that way. But what did I really like it, of this episode? I really liked the opening where, where we get to see the underground world of Coruscant and we get back with this um, lady, I don't care for her name, I don't remember her name, um, who messed up the doctor. We don't know what happened to the doctor. I'm pretty sure the doctor's dead. Um, but, and so, and the whole reason of that is because she's working for Moff Gideon, not really that much of a shocker, and really what is happening is Moff Gideon is sort of working from behind the scenes, and, um, where he is basically screwing over every other, because they have a council, and there's, uh, and each person's trying to literally take control of the empire, be like, oh, I'm the leader of the empire, no, I'm the leader of the empire, basically. And so, and he's basically sort secretly screwing each one of them over so he can be the one in charge and everyone can look at him. Like they mentioned Thrawny and he's like, well, the, where the fuck is Thrawn then? Hmm? You, said that, you say that Thrawn's supposed to be this, uh, supposed to be our leader or something. Where the fuck is he? Don't know, then don't bring him up again. <laughs> like basically, and um, it shows dominance and it's real, and you know, it's cool to see Moff Gideon. He's not in this fucking season at all, so that was a fucking lie. Because uh, he, they said like he's he's gonna be like he's like basically in the whole entire season. Nope, he's missing a lot, but he's not in it, and so he's practically in in two episodes. He's in this one, and he's gonna be in next week's episode. And um, but it was it was a really cool scene. I liked it a lot. Um, Hux gets a fucking cameo. Um, I, I don't know if it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a younger version. I was like, they recast him, so it's not the same actor. I was like, what are they, is it his father? Or, or are they doing where, or, 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 I don't know. I, I forget where the season three timeline is with the sequels. And so I'm pretty sure it's actually Hux. I think it actually is Hux. Um, you guys can let me know in the comics, um, if it is or if it's, his father or some offspring of him, the next Hux will be brought in later on. Um, but yeah, I really like the opening. And next we pick up with Mando and Book Tan after like they kind of come back. Sorry, I have a little itch. It's weird. 
Um, they, uh, so basically they go back to um, um, Weathers planet, I forget the, is, uh, the name of the actual planet, uh, Carl Weathers was like hit, like, you know, his whole entire planet thing. And they basically have a group thing, group meeting, and they, <laughs> they eat the birds um, that they save from that one terrible episode. I think it's like the worst, that's like the bottom of the barrel worst episode. Um, and so they kind of have this um, little talk in this like group meeting, and it's like, all right, um, we're gonna take back Mandalore. I need volunteers who's gonna take uh, go down with me to the planet and scout things out to make sure that it's safe, and next we'll bring everyone else down. And no one really volunteers, um, but then Mando, um, da uh, Dinj Darden, I believe that's how you say his name, volunteers. Uh, Baby Yoda gets a new, <laughs> basically gets a suit. That's pretty cool. Um, that's something I have to mention. I, I wasn't really too sure about it at first. I was like, oh no, this, I don't know about this. Um, but, they, uh, but you know, it starts to grow. I mean, he can talk, say yes, yes, yes. It's kind of funny. Um, we can see the, some uh, cousin of Bobo Freak. Um, oh, uh, no ba bad baby, no squeeze. Uh, it's like, more of that. I want more of those species. Like, it's so, they're so... They're so funny and they're so good. Um, and um, I mean, we might see them in the fucking Returning of Ray's movie. Fucking, uh, yeah, Star Wars Celebration and a lot of stuff happened. And I never really talked about it, so. Yeah, well, well, we'll get to that when the movie comes out. So well, that'll be an interesting um, review, that's for sure. But, so, like, there's cool, there was a lot of cool ideas in this episode, and they, and the action sequences was pretty cool. We get to see, um, pirate Mandalorians of some kind, um, and I thought that was pretty cool, and we, you know, this, the fight sequences were shot very well. There were some pacing issues throughout the episode, like, there's that, um, later on in the episode when, um, everything sort of kind of starts going down, this weird-ass creep, like, this big, giant creature pops out of the ground and just like oh how conveniently um and like and so that destroys their ship and next they have to go into the cave They're like oh we need to go down deeper it's like why why do we need to go it's like why not have it written in a way it's like they sense something like they sense like tech or like a heat form or something or like technology or something i don't know they have a device and it text something and it's like hey right, we need to go check this out and because they're searching it, if this is all clear, and they and they want to make sure that it's safe for their people to come down, so like you already had it set up, just had it, you you just didn't really connect it in any way. So then they go down into this cave system, and you find out that Moff Gideon has been hiding out on Mandalore throughout this whole entire time, probably even longer, probably throughout the whole entire series. Um, he has had this base and that's why he doesn't want anyone to go back to Mandalore and he's been basically lying about Mandalore is not, uh, is not habitable in any way because his base is there and he's using and he's um, basically getting materials, he's getting the, the, be the Beskar and using that and it's come to reveal that he is basically making Beskar armor for his troopers which look fucking cool and the black and red one uh, that he wears is awesome. Um, that like that was really well done. I thought it looks cool and looks badass. Um, and so, um, basically, they get led into a trap and all of that. It, like this, like all this is great stuff. And like, there's a couple of stuff like um, awkward, um, awkwardly, awkwardly done. Um, one Mando escapes, um, but doesn't get shot or anything. Um, then they follow the troopers down into another, basically another trap. Mando gets captured. Uh, Din Djarin, Din Djarin, I'm saying his name completely wrong. Gets basically captured, um, and um, and this is kind of where the episode sort of tanks a little bit for me. Um, basically, uh, John Farrow's like when everyone's basically like, "Hey, fucking, we need to get the fuck out of here," basically. Um, but John Farrow's character that he plays is like, I want to have a heroic sacrifice, and um, in it was very uh, weirdly shot where he just like shuts the door when he could have easily backed up 
And it's not like it's not like the door or the door like the door thing got shot and it closes. He personally just goes pshoo, pshoo, when he, and he could have took a step back, but no, he's like, this is the way. And I was like, what are you doing? This is dumb. This doesn't make any sense. Um, it's, it, like you could have filmed it in a better way where he got shot in the leg or something. Like he was gonna close, he, he was gonna close the door, and next he was going to go in t uh, and like go. Basically, get oh, um, get under it before the door closes, but then he gets shot on the leg or something, and next that stops him from doing that. Like, or uh, or you know, someone shoots the button by uh, and destroys it, but the door also closed. That's been a Star Wars thing before, um, but it, it, it's just like clearly shown. Like he uh, wanted to make his character a big sacrifice. He defeats the most of the stormtroopers, and next the red gar um, guards come out. Which are basically from um, some. I think they're sort of from Return of the Jedi, but they're mostly of the guards that were in the Last Jedi, which were pretty cool. And they just basically come in and destroy him easily. Like they, he, like he, he just dies pretty well because he has his gun overheated. Um, he doesn't really have any special tools to defend himself. Um, but yeah, really great episode. Um, we learned how. Both can loses the dark saber. She gave it to got Moff Gideon because she because um, she basically trusted that his word that he would leave the Mandalorians alone. He would leave Mandalore alone. But then, but then that was a lie, and so he basically killed it uh, and destroyed Mandalore anyways. And so that's why it, that that's how she lost it. So that was a nice explanation for it. Um, but yeah, the ending really that couple, maybe a couple scenes and pacing issues in the ending is what hurt this episode really better than the previous one. Uh, I better than the Jack Black cameo. Um, and the old guy was, uh, Christopher Lloyd. I forgot to mention that. Um, so that was a cool, I get that was a cool cameo. He works, but Jack Black really, and, um, whoever the other can't, the, the actress, the, wife of Jack Black, or not his actual wife, but the character of what he was playing as, I forget what sh uh, her name is, but those two cameos kind of like pulled me out of that previous episode. So very well done. Um, you have one more episode left. Um, it's th this is like these final two episodes are not going to save the whole entire season, but it definitely adds something. It definitely makes me like, okay, I can go back and watch these certain episodes, but I will skip all the other episodes. Originally, before this episode, I was like, you know, if I continue watching The Mandalorian, I'm just skipping. And if I ever, ever decide to go rewatch episodes, I'm skipping this whole entire season. But now I have somewhat of a more reason to go back and watch. Like, they're, like these final. Uh, like, I would rewatch episode three, um, this episode, and probably the next episode. So I guess three episodes. There's another episode in there I really like. I forget which one that one is. Um, I think that might have been episode five. Is it episode five that I like? No, no, it was not episode five. That was the uh, that was the other episode. That was awesome. So yeah, basically going to be three episodes if the finale does something very well with it. Tony of the Mandalorian chapter twenty three, a B minus. I really enjoyed it. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, Great step in a uh, great direction. Hopefully, John Favreau does take uh, some feedback from this and gets some idea of where he wants to take the show instead of just like meandering and just you know s hoping it sticks or something. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.